Hey, so I'm here to reintroduce Small Mini Bar. It's been a month since we launched it, and it's changed quite a bit. So I better just re-record this video, especially because I deleted the tweet uh, by accident. So anyway, here it is. It is an open source uh, mini bar app. Basically, what you do is it lives inside of your mini bar, and it pops up uh, these three windows by default: GPT-4 enabled by default, and then Bing, and then Tropic uh, Cloud 2. And basically, what it does is, it, what is your name? Uh, it syncs across all the different apps, and that's uh, pretty cool, pretty interesting. I have a strong opinion on using the full web app, so you can use uh, the apps uh, that are released to consumers which are typically not exposed to people via API. Um, so let's ignore Bing for a while, but for example, we can we can um, uh, talk about a Code Interpreter, which was just launched recently, as well as Cloud2. Uh, both of these accept file uploads, and they don't have an API for them, but I can actually start using them as well. So uh, I can go say like, what is in these files? Um, and that's great. Um, you can also resize this or keep working in the background. Uh, they'll, they'll keep persisting and you can call them back with the keyboard shortcut, uh, which I just love as well. Um, so yeah, uh, um, for, so for example here we can see that Claude is not quite good at reading CSV files yet, whereas Code Interpreter is great, and uh, that's great. We actually have support for others. Uh, so for example, if I just want to add Bard, if I just want to add Claude 1, I can do that as well. Um, and that just obviously has a ridiculous amount of power in terms of um, the ability to ask questions and get alternative mixture of expert style answers to all your topics. You can use all the shortcuts uh, to uh, stretch out to, into a single area, so obviously because ChatGPT tends to be people's favorite. Um, but yeah, uh, that is a small mini bar. I think there's more stuff along the way, but we're pretty happy with it. And basically, I guess what we're announcing is that we have Cloud, we have Cloud 2 support now, and that's great. You should use Cloud 2 together with um, chat GPT and bake them off and have a good sense of what GPT-4 versus Cloud 2 really feels like for day-to-day -day usage. Cheers.